Hey guys, today I'm making a review on my snowflake spinning snow woman. Now, this isn't any ordinary one. I don't have the box, sadly, but I have this tag. It's a prototype, guys. Now, I am going to show you a side by side comparison to a regular one. But it's not good. I don't have a regular one. All I have is the prototype. And the gear is split for the hand. I'm going to fix that soon. Uh, and sorry if I sound weird, I'm very sick right now, I have a sore throat, so, hold on just a minute, I gotta get my laptop, and cause the YouTube capture doesn't work anymore, I have to, <clears throat> I have to, um, put my camera down. First thing, comparison on the face. Mine, if you see, the eyebrows and stuff are missing, but they're really not. They're just under the cloth. But they were supposed to be hidden, but sort of not. This one, the eyebrows are very visible. Um, yeah, let's play this one. Now, the hand might stop moving, but it still spins it. Now, on the box, I used to have the box, but it was very water damaged, and soon it grew mold on it, so that's why we had to throw it out. But it's it read on the box that uh, I I swing my hips, I spin my snowflakes, and raise my hand up and down to the song. Now, if you listen very closely, I'll put the microphone near it. has a sort of motor so when I go to fix it I'm gonna open up the bottom and yeah now the factory and all that stuff is in Japan and Japanese I remember it's 15 I think 15 p3 or something it's weird I'll play this one now I gotta make sure my volume is up So yeah, she, this is where mine would start spinning. This is where mine, see, mine doesn't have this part of the song in it. Be spinning. Mine would be swinging its hip right now. See, mine would not be swing, uh, swinging the hips. Now here, I'm going to show you once again. They look almost identical. But, um, mine looks more polished and done. And mine has a tied up scarf where I have seen one in real life that it's just a, a different cloth I'm gonna go back real quick yeah mine was hand tied on there so just play on I gotta get to
see, there's no demo mode on this one either. I'm going to show you the demo mode now. And you're going to be surprised at what it does in demo mode. So I switch it to demo mode. See if I push down the button. It spins its snowflakes. You just gotta hold down the button. See. Hold on. This is not a joke either. With the tag and everything. This is all hand painted down here. You can, f like, I, I have a frosty the snowman with the same thing. You can feel the snowflakes on the bottom, how they're painted. It's it's very it's very cool and unique. The hat even should. The hat's cool. It even has detail on the back. A lot of it. Um. It takes an adapter, like all the other ones, you can't really see it, you can sort of see it. It has a tag down here, and it has the prototype tag with a stamp of approval saying 2003, but these were mass produced in 2004. See, I like this one, this one's movements better. You can hear the ticking. This was all hand sewn. It was hand everything. Even like every single part of it was handmade. And it has a sort of glossier finish than the released model, which I don't really like. And as you can see, there's much less room. They made it a lot fatter, fatter this way, down that way, and then, and then on that one. If you don't believe me, 2004, 2000, I'm even gonna ask Google. When was the Snowflake Spinning Snow Woman produced? That should be a space. Why don't they give any info about the woman except for the peppermint spinning one? Snow woman. Sorry guys. Penguin. Oh, they did. What the freak? Jenny, okay. Okay, it says they were mass produced in 2004. Even on the, it's hard to see, but on the bottom of mine it says 2003, I think. Um, Jimmy Corporation. 
made in China. But yeah, it shows you the materials and blah blah blah. Yeah. Ah. Oh. oh my, that was an ugly sight. Well, without a computer, I think she's more. Yeah. I mean, after a while, the ticking doesn't get that loud. Now, I may not be able to pick it up on here, but they have awesome sound quality. But I'm a proud owner of a prototype. I'm going to go as long as I can with this arm. But anyways, uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I can't believe I have a prototype. And one more time. And see that if you read that upside down, it says 2003-12-11. Sort of is hard to see. I'll, I'll get a better picture of it.